G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today, whoop, shit, shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> today, I am back playing Assassin's Creed Origins on the PS4 Pro, and it seems like there has been a Final Fantasy XV event launched on the game. Now, I made a video about this um, a couple of months ago now, actually, I think, um, about a tomb where you can see Noctis and Arden. But we couldn't really access it up to this point. But we have got a new quest called A Gift from the Gods today. So uh, I am going to head over there now. I've actually already seen the cutscene. But my god, it, it kicks ass, man. It is uh, it's pretty crazy. So we're going to head over there and check it out. And um, yeah, it's not at all what I expected. But pretty cool nonetheless. G'day to people in the chat there, Darium, uh, Captain Meow, <laughs> Twin, Twin Dash Mark, and uh, Kevin Grisham. Hello, mates. Oh man, I am. It's like I said, it's not really expected. It's it's far more than I expected, actually. Well, no, not more. It's just different than I expected. So this should be available to everybody at the moment. Oh, I guess I just got out of it. <laughs> anyway, this should be available to anybody uh, at the moment. It is a free event. So, um, yeah, if you want to use it, all you have to do is come to... Here it is here. When you log into the game, it'll say, New quest now available. A gift from the gods. A huge rock has come tumbling out of the sky and crashed to earth in front of the uh, Maidam Pyramid. Bayek is interested in finding it. So this is where I did my video originally. And the actual quest marker is here. You have to go to the quest marker to trigger this event. Um, let's chuck on a different piece of gear, huh? Uh, I'll make myself look cooler. I don't have you the Anubis outfit yet. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in in weeks now, so I've kind of missed out. G'day, MCS. How you doing, mate? Come on, horsey. Yeah, good boy. All right, we'll head up to the event here and then trigger it. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I really wasn't prepared, but yeah. Um, all right. So we've, they've hinted at this for quite a while now. Like we've seen the um, the they released art when they did the Assassins Festival in uh, Final Fantasy 15, where it had Bayek using the Ultima Blade or the Engine Blade, as well as using the Zadric Shield, and then it had Noctis using the. Um, the like uh, scarab shield and the kopesh as well. So uh, it's been hinted to and alluded to for uh, a fair bit now. I think it's over here, is it? God damn. <laughs> Completely the wrong place. Anyway, I gotta hit that 10 minute mark somehow, don't I? <laughs> um, jump on the horse. There we go. I think it's across there. But why don't I just be an intelligent little boy and track it? That'll do. There you go. G'day, Rhea Roberts. Sarah H. Hello. Uh, Daniel K. And Wild Mike. Hello, Moogles. How you doing today? I am. Uh, I'm. I'm amped up for this quest. Okay, let's get up. We'll start it. We'll trigger it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hello, Jackie M. What was that? Hmm. Cool, man. It's cool. G'day, Darium. I think I said hello to you before, Darium, right? Yeah, man. You're the first dude I said hello to. Or persons. Let's mount up. Um, the mount is odd. I will say the mount that you get is is very odd. That's about the only thing I can say <laughs> about it. Uh, odd. Yeah. So here again, here's the sundial, and here <gasps> is where we got the crash site. So you can do this from level 23, so pretty early on in the game. Hello, Seven Kid, and Sherry. Hello. Um, 
You have to have the most recent update, which is patch 1.110, and then we come back down to this point right here, and we're about to go into the tomb. Oh, last time this was blocked by a, a statue and some rocks, but we have a little bit of a puzzle solution here. Ooh. Very phallic everything there, but... <laughs> What could 15 mean? Uh, somebody actually managed to like clip through the walls here and before this event went live this 15 down here was actually Square Enix symbols the uh, the black and the red Square Enix symbol So it's showing the three places on the sundial and the number 15 What could the number 15 mean? Oh. <laughs> Are you pantsless Rhea? <laughs> Um, I guess we could see your rear. <laughs> um, okay, so there's some more arrows if you do need them, um, which is important for the quest. So you might come here and say, you might come here and think, oh well, nothing has changed. But if you find that the the puzzle hasn't activated, you just have to skip time by holding the touchpad down. Hey, chopper, chopper, g'day, mate. So then I think we skip back time again to the daytime and we should see um, we should see some stuff going on. G'day Jake and Bake. How you doing mate? There we go, they've slid down. Well Jake and Bake, I can tell you what's not up. Rhea's pants are not up at the moment, so that's what's happening. Um, so we have the dials at like 12pm. Uh, I guess it's 12 p.m. Yeah, um, or 12 o'clock, which is a five, and then we have one at around about um, what would it be, <laughs> 10 or so. Um, that's a three, and then we have one back here that is one. So we know that num the number 15 is important. So what I'm going to do is five, 10, 15. You can do that with any combination of the numbers, but that's the easiest way to do it. Boom. It looks so awesome, man. Hey Mike, if you want to level up, I use the, um, from the Special Assassin's Guild thing at the end, I use the, uh, the tablets that give you a thousand experience each, so... I find that the fastest way, because I found it really easy to farm money, so... Wait, whose birthday is it? Ah, uh, yeah, kid, I'm from Australia, mate. Anyway, let's go into the tomb. I'm going to keep it a little bit more quiet from this point. I'll get rid of my, uh, my mug over there. Whip. <laughs> Can you does does that look like a figure up there or something in the uh, in the amber? Hmm, it's like he's wearing a jacket or something, huh? Who does that look like? That cloak and those pants are a little bit familiar, right? Who could that be?
did anyone expect that? Did anyone honestly expect that? I expected to maybe see a little bit of like Noctis, like a Warp Strike version of him or something. I never, never, ever expected to see Arden like pop up in this. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? And then on top of that, we have Bahamut come in. Like, what the hell? I, what? I don't get it. You know what? What if this is a hint about episode Arden? What if Arden goes back to Egypt? Or he's traveling all around the world, but craziness. Absolute craziness. We'll check out the gear. Um, it's not spectacular. It's pretty good. So we have the Ultima Blade here. It's the upgraded version of the engine blade from the main game, which Noctis uses. And it says... It is only a blade forged in insomnia would tirelessly, huh, nice pun, absorb the life force of fallen foes. So for critical hits, you get health back. For um, You get adrenaline regeneration as you're battling, and also your critical rate is uh, up there. So it's actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, 94 item level is actually, or quality is actually really good. Uh, then we have the Zadric, the uh, legendary shield. And it's got range resistance, damage absorption rate, damage absorption rate, and it causes bleeding on block. And it says, for days on end, a legendary blacksmith hammered a new sheet of armor onto the shield. It will make a legend of you. So awesome. But now we come to the human centipede like abomination <laughs> that is queer. So we can't tell. It looks it looks quite like a chocobo in that screenshot, doesn't it? It does. Let's get let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go take a look at it. Um oh, weapons. I'll change my weapons out. There you go. How awesome does it look, man? It just it's kick ass. Um we'll just have a look around the tomb first. There doesn't seem to be anything else like signifying Final Fantasy around. Um I don't know like what the red amber stuff is. I, I guess that's more of an Assassin's Creed type of uh, thing, but it's definitely not um, it's definitely not a Final Fantasy thing. And none of these glyph things that are flashing here really relate to Final Fantasy 15, as far as I can tell. Um, it seems to be more like the ancient technology that I'm wearing uh, right now. But nothing much else in the tomb really points to Final Fantasy 15 at all. Um, not that I can see anyway. Um, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, um, so now we'll head out and we'll have a bit of a look at Kwe, the Chocobo Mount. Are you, are you guys ready? That's Noctis's poop, I guess. Um, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> what an abomination, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it looks kind of cool, but also at the same time, I'm like, why? The, the camel's just like, every moment I live is suffering. Um, it doesn't have... I'm really... I'm a bit upset that it doesn't have chocobo noises. It still just has the, like, angry camel noises to it. So, um... <laughs> ah, it's funny, man. Um, but otherwise, there's nothing really special about the mount at all. Um, it does look quite odd, but I, I wish they had to put chocobo sounds in there. Or maybe a little taste of the chocobo music or something would have been cool. To me, it seems like it's like a camel wearing the chocobo um, type of hood and stuff, but I could be wrong. Does he open his beak? Oh no, he's actually got a movable beak. Wow, it is a chocobo. Uh, did they actually put the anus on the camel? <laughs> they did. Uh, yeah, kill it with fire, man. It's, it's horrific. It's like, please kill me! And you're like, nah, I'll just ride you for a bit. <laughs> so the initial clue uh, to all of this actually being in the game, we've, we've seen a bit of cross-promotion stuff anyway, but 
there was a little bit of a clue. Previously, these red these crystals weren't here, um, which is funny. I'm already getting comments on my my other videos saying, "Hey man, I can use it. Why can't you use it?" And I'm like, uh, "The video was posted a little bit ago." Um, so this is the original clue that um, kind of alluded to. There's Noctis and Arden there. It's really odd that we didn't see Noctis though. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit of Noctis. It would have been hella awesome if Arden kind of warped in and he was like, where am I? Then Noctis kind of warp striked in. They had a little bit of a scuff and then they got teleported out. That would have been awesome. That would have been totally wicked. So there we see uh, Arden on the left and then we got Noctis on the right. So um, pretty cool. I'm digging it. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's very, like, it, there's not much to it, but I'm glad they took the effort to do something like this. Um, I like it, especially the fact that they put the, it in the game first, so we had that little bit of mystery surrounding it. So, um, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, let's get on the chocobo. We'll go punch some enemies up, and I'll just show you... Um, oh, I'm hallucinating here, I think. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else, and we'll punch something up. Uh, let's go. Man, it's been such a long time since I played this, so I'm just out of touch with it. Completely out of touch with it. You know those games that you, you put down, and then it just takes you a long-ass time to pick it back up again? That's what's going on with this. But I, I like the look of the sword. It's uh, pretty damn good. And the shield is a little bit small for my taste, but otherwise really quite good. Um, lads vs gents, no, there's no outfit as far as I know. It's only the weapons and the chocobo, which is a shame, but I don't I don't really know what they could have added from Final Fantasy 15 that wouldn't have been like I know the weapon is out of place, but it it would have just been ridiculously out of place if we had been locked dressed as like Noctis or something. So, um yeah. Oh, am I dead? No, nearly. Um, but we'll go around and we'll bust up some enemies. Just see the sword in action. Because it's quite different seeing the engine blade coated in a thick, thick coat of blood. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude. You should be flying over this, mate. We need a black chocobo or a gold one. And just really... Just leg it over everything. Would have been nice. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. G'day, Kane. How you doing, mate? Alright, turkey boy. Just... Oh. I really... The, the actually... It's a bit cumbersome at the moment, but the actual movement freedom in Assassin's Creed Origins is really quite good. Uh, once you get used to it. I do highly recommend this game, actually. it's It was a very, very good experience. Um, I just couldn't cover it on the channel. It was just... It's a long-ass game. It really is. And once you go through it once, you don't... Me, personally, I had no desire to go back and play it again. So that's why I never did a playthrough on the channel. Oh, they could have a Glaive outfit. Yeah, that, that might work, actually. Yeah, if he had like a Nyx Ulrich outfit, man, that would be totally awesome. Because it has the hood and everything. That would work. That would totally work. No, it hasn't, mate. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm terrible. I haven't played in ages. Well, that's the excuse I give you guys anyway. Boom! Get some Ultima Blade, mate. <laughs> I don't know how that hit him, but anyway. Oh, there's no blood on the sword. Oh well. Hey mate, can you can you can you look at my weapon for a second? There you go. Bit of uh, ultra violence for Final Fantasy 15. But yeah, um, you can see I get increased uh, adrenaline re regeneration in battle from the from the weapon, and it should cause, I think, uh, bleeding on hit if you block the uh, the enemies. But these guys usually break my guard, so I don't know if it'll work too much, but... 
Anyway, um, that is Final Fantasy XV event in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. There's really not much else to show with this whole thing, so... Um, <laughs> right in his butt. Um, so yeah, that's about it I wanted to show you. Um, I will be putting a few different videos up on the channel, like of just the cutscenes, if you want to check those out or use them for your own purposes. I, I don't really mind. But yeah, I think it's really quite cool. Uh, but it's one of those things you can't really do all that much with it, you know? But um, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I am going to head off and hopefully I'll see you later tonight. I'll do a bit more of um... <laughs> Qui translates to kill me. It reminds me of that episode, the um, uh, Treehouse of Horrors episode of The Simpsons where they do the Harry Potter thing. And uh, I think Bart gets turned into like a weird frog monster or something. And they're like, kill me. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to head off, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, if you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comments or suggestions down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. See you guys. Moo. Oh, goddamn button. There it is. Moo.